And welcome back to the Big Movie Mouth Off. I'm Jeff Weiss with MSN Entertainment. And I'm Jimmy Martin from The Slug Magazine, still waiting for a good movie. What we got? Uh, our next movie is Chronicle. Uh oh. It's, I would say, an action science fiction thriller. Uh, three teens, uh, cousins, and an associated friend have mysteriously gotten superpowers, uh, mostly telekinesis, and now with great. Power comes great irresponsibility. Oh, moody teenagers with powers. Right, right. Well, they can't all be Peter Parker. No, they clearly can't. <laughs> You're probably going to want to get this on camera. I don't want to do it. Dude, I don't want to do it. Okay, are you ready? Okay, Come on, you do it. Give me a countdown. I will, okay. I promise. Ah! <laughs> Are we rolling? I'm gonna get the gum. Pull it right out of his mouth. <laughs> wait, 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 why are you running? I got this one. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> She's just looking at it. <laughs> this is my theory, though, is that it's like a muscle. Watch this. Dude! Holy crap! That's why I think we're getting stronger, you know? It's, she thinks it's stolen. She has no she idea. Stolen. Yes, it was the black guy this time. Because <laughs> we're working it out. There's nothing stopping us. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that's just some red What the hell is this guy's problem? Uh, what did you do that? What the hell is wrong with. Had me conflicted in several ways. Okay. Because uh, the lead character, played by an actor who really wants to look like Leonardo DiCaprio, it's but doesn't Dean have demand. D d sort of doesn't have the range. I would call him Leonardo DiCaprio myself. I, I think he kind of reminded me of Nick Stahl. Yeah, I could see that. But but he's been bullied, picked on, and the first about third of this film is almost an after-school special about bullying and getting picked on by your parents mm. and 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 stuff like that, uh, while they fill in the blanks of what they're gonna do with their powers. And then the second third of the film, where they start to explore their powers, is where this starts to get good. Yeah. It's, uh, by the way, I should mention, it's a found footage yeah. gimmick again, because uh, this picked on teen is actually using his camera to document all the stuff that's going on in his life, yeah. including getting the powers, how to use the powers, what to do with the powers, and that. Although, I will say this, I noticed two different scenes where they violate that rule. <laughs> Just yeah, I, I'd almost challenge you because for me, I'm not a big, I, well, I'm not a big fan. I hate found footage movies. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm tired I, I of it. despise paranormal I, activity. I liked the Blair Witch Project. I mean, it had been done here and there, but Blair Witch Project was, you know, the, the, the trendsetter. Mm -hmm. And then Paranormal came out again. And then, and then now everybody's doing it. And there's no originality to it anymore. No. And no. then, uh, and we're filming this kind of right after Sundance. And, and I saw a film at Sundance that was called VHS. And the way VHS does it, it's found footage, but they kind of made like a Tales from the Dark Side movie. Right. Which I'm like, okay, you know what? That's creative. You're taking another level to the genre. Right. Which, not, not everything about the VHS was good. Right. Don't get me wrong. But I, I applauded their creativity, mm -hmm. which is exactly what I'm doing for Chronicle. <coughs> when it first started, and it was a found footage, and he's sitting there holding the camera, I'm like, my God, this is going to get... Here we go again. It's going to get so stupid. But... And, and, and you mentioned the after school special. I mean, we're living in a time right now where bullying is, uh, is a very right. touchy subject. So I kind of, I like that aspect of it. You know, it may be kind of after school specially, but it, it's kind of a subject that's not too explored very much in films. And, and I think that they're just kind of jumping on that boat. Right. But for the found footage genre of it, uh, what I loved about it is that he's carrying around his camera, but when he started getting the powers, he starts using his powers, his you know, telepathy and all that to, to float the camera and bring it around to where it is just like a film, which makes sense because it, it, it and, but it adds to the cool. And then you've got, uh, towards the end, not, not too much spoiling, uh, an ultimate battle across the city. And then the filmmakers are 100% right of what would happen if like, a battle like this happened in a, real, in a metropolitan area. You've got uh, security cam footage, you've got, you know, police cam, you know, cars on, uh, uh, cams on police cars, you've got people using their cell phones recording it, and that's what it starts cutting to. Yes. And that's, I and, thought that and was that's genius. The, and that's the innovative use of the, of the found footage. Yeah, and, I mean, and, you haven't seen anything like that before. Right. 
Was it an accident, Andrew? Andrew? I'm worried about Andrew. Listen to me. We can't screw Wait, around with this. It's too this dangerous. Andrew, it's what, not what a game. Andrew! Stop this right now! Just making that sound. Yes, what is that? All right, dude, we're going inside. Steve, wait up. Matt, look at this. Holy. Uh, here's, and, and I'm making it sound like I'm hypercritical of this film. Uh, my other problems have to do with the storytelling itself mm. and, and the story. I've read a comic book before. Yeah, yeah, So true. I know where this story's going. It takes from every comic book you can imagine. A absolutely. <laughs> I, if, if you've seen a superhero movie with somebody going bad, yeah, you kind of know where it's where it's gonna go, but some creative, innovative use of effects, especially for a twelve million dollar budget. And that's, what, I mean, a twelve million dollar budget. I mean, they're gonna get that back in the first day, you know. And that's why, you know, why why waste so much money on such a terrible movie? Right. And said, and be creative, be cheap. You know, that's why my favorite thing is about found footage films is that it gives you a reason to make your movie look terrible. <laughs> you, know? you can have the shaky cam, you can have the crappy audio. You know, but for me, like even even the effects started bothering me a little bit in the beginning of it. Like right. you know, they're, they're floating items, balls and Legos and whatnot, and I'm like, it's, this looks really kind of cheesy. And then we get to they, and I love it because they're using the, the powers that they've gained like a muscle. And the more they use it, the more they build it, the more they get to you know control of it. And next, you know, they're flying. And then that's when I was in. I was like, you know what? If that's what we're gonna do, then I, I'm I'm all in. And and that's and it gets and they keep elevating, elevating, elevating until like I said in the end battle, it's. A, just a complete disaster, you know, across this city, which is fantastic. Ever twelve million bucks, my God! I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. I mean, no. twelve twelve million dollars for today's movies, especially like you know a big budget kind of, I mean, or or even a superhero film, it's usually damn near impossible. So I can, I can think of some superhero movies that cost considerably more that didn't look nearly as good effects wise. Uh, Green Lantern. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I wasn't gonna mention it by name, but yes. I did it. I did it. It cost right about by name. twenty times more. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. God. What are you gonna do? Uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. To to, I, to a certain extent. Again, I've got some a, a few problems with it, but I'm excited to see where this filmmaker goes next. Yeah. And 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 spoiler alert, you shouldn't be this surprised for it. They do leave room for a sequel. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, but but how can you be surprised by that? Uh, I maybe a little hypercritical again because I've seen this story done before. Yeah. But for the more innovative stuff in it, two and a half stars for me. Yeah, for me, I I was take I was taken by you know taken away by it. I, I couldn't. I never thought I would like a found footage film as much as I like this one. I mean, it, it it was it redefines the genre for me. I'm like, wow, you can actually be really creative with this found footage idea. Yes. Yeah, so so now those crappy found footage horror filmmakers, you have no excuse. Yeah. I mean, like you're, you're gonna make Paranormal Activity four. Step up your game and stop using a one shot camera. Yep. Now they won't because it's very cheap to do that. Right. But I, you know, whatever. But for me, this is in a, in, in a year that we're about to get the Avengers and Dark Knight Rises and the Amazing Spider Man. This is a great just small time kind of opening. It's kind of like the opening act in front of a large band. And, and the best thing about opening the acts is sometimes you like to see where they go in the future. And, I, and I'm right there with you. I think this guy could easily make a, a, a high budget, you know, well-known, you know, yeah, I'm, you know, there's a thousand franchises out there that he can grab, but yep. go for it. Absolutely. And uh, three stars for me, you know, and I'm, I'm with you. I'm very excited to see what this guy can do. Absolutely. That's definitely the recommendation for this week. Yeah. Which also features Woman in Black. I, Daniel Radcliffe is okay, but yeah. story one star, sucks. One star for me, one and a half. For one me. and a half for me. Uh, and, a half. and and Man on a Ledge. One and a half again. Yeah, one from you. <laughs> yeah, recommendation is the Chronicle, and hope that things get better. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe it will. I mean, we're in the middle of February, and we we got to Chronicle, so maybe we can. Uh, I mean, yes. I what, what's coming are, out? Ghost Rider. Yeah, that's, right. that's where my fingers are crossed. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. Who knows? Uh, all right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll tell you what it's like next week, a couple weeks. <laughs>